Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Frozen was real? What if, like Elsa, I could use my special powers to wave my hands and instantly turn water into ice or make beautiful ice sculptures? What if I told you that I could? Okay, take a look at this. Normal water. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is... Did you guys see that? That has just completely turned into solid ice. Yes! Okay, if you want to see this again, then check out the one I did last night, which I caught on my camera phone. Magic powers! What? Yay! Okay, so maybe I don't have special powers, but it really is possible to instantly turn water into ice. It's called super cooling. And if you wanna have a go at home, all you need to do is put a bottle of pure water in the freezer for around two and a half to three hours. And then when you take it out, give it a bash and you will have instant ice. But how does it work? Well, from a really young age, we're taught that liquid water will freeze and turn into solid ice at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's not always true. Water is made up of lots and lots of molecules. And as a liquid, those molecules are able to tumble all over each other and move around freely. It's why we can pour water, it flows. However, for water to turn into ice, those molecules have to line themselves up and get into a special pattern. And when that happens, the molecules can't move around and flow anymore. Instead, they're locked in place. And that's when our liquid water becomes a solid, solid ice. Thing is, it's actually really difficult for those water molecules to line up in the right way to start making an ice crystal. It takes a lot of energy. Now, the colder it is, the easier the molecules find it. But what they really need is a starting point, the first building block of that ice crystal. If they have a starting point, then it gives them somewhere to latch onto and start building their pattern from. Think of it like playing with Lego. If you have a whole lot of Lego pieces and are told you have to make a boat, but you don't know where to start or have no instructions to follow, then it's quite difficult. But if you have a starting point, then it gives you somewhere to build from and it's much easier. Tap water is full of little bits called impurities, but those bits are great for water molecules to grab onto and use to start arranging themselves from. So that's why when you put tap water in the freezer, it will turn to ice all by itself because those water molecules have a starting point from which to make their ice crystals. However, this is a bottle of pure water, which means it has no bits or impurities in it at all. So even when I put it in the freezer and it gets really, really cold, much colder than zero degrees, it still won't turn into ice because the water molecules don't have a starting point. And when water gets below zero degrees and still hasn't turned into ice, we say that it's been super cooled. The question then is how did I turn my bottle of super cooled water into instant ice? Well, I gave it a bash. And that bash gave it enough energy for the first few ice crystals to form, enough energy to put themselves into the right position and arrange themselves. And as soon as you've got one little ice crystal, the rest will follow and it will start to build and build and build until you have an entire bottle of ice. What's really cool is that I can also pour the super cooled water onto a block of ice and use that block of ice as the starting point. Watch this. Well, that's it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this super cool video. If you're watching this on the Curious Christmas Calendar playlist, then make sure you come back over the next few days because I've got lots more videos about building snowmen, snowflakes and ice coming up. Subscribe, 
stay curious and I'll see you soon.